So here are the five components of an AI agent that you need to know about. So first you have the triggers. So we have the manual trigger, the chat trigger node, but you also have various different triggers like schedule trigger, webhooks. And then the second piece is the large language model, which includes the brain. You can think of this as one of OpenAI's models. Now the third piece of an AI agent is the memory. This allows it to memorize the responses, the interactions with us via chat or various other inputs. And then the fourth piece are tools. Right. These are other agents that the main agent can call. These are different tools that allow it to execute actions, whether it's send messages in Gmail, get messages in Gmail, or add labels to messages in Gmail, or get or create records in Airtable. There's 500 plus integrations in NNN, so lots of different possibilities for tools to give these AI agents. And then finally, there's outputs. So you can send a message to someone in Slack or respond via webhook. So that really is the fundamental anatomy of AI agents broken down very quickly 